Hey, cabin lovers, welcome back to my Dream Log Cabin podcast, where we help cabin lovers like you navigate the uncharted waters of building their dream log homes. From idea to move in, we cover all aspects of log home design and construction. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to hit that subscribe button. By the way, this podcast is sponsored by Caribou Creek Handcrafted Log Homes. Today on the podcast, we are talking about hybrid dovetail log homes. Dovetail log construction is achieved when we use timbers, basically a four-sided log to build the home. One of our recent clients scheduled our design team to draft a 6,000 square foot dovetail home for their beautiful Montana Lake property. Our draftsman, Stuart, worked with the clients to create a dream home that met their tastes and their customizations. It was gorgeous. But after the first draft of design was complete, we priced out the build and realized it was coming in over their preferred budget. Even though they could have stretched the budget and gone with their dream, they decided to scale back on the design to help get the project in line. So we went back to the drawing board and what resulted was a spectacular design that morphed into a dovetail hybrid home, something that is becoming increasingly popular because it combines the rustic look of logs with modern elephant elephants. <laughs> I'm leaving that in the podcast to be humorous. <laughs> That was a Freudian slip. (laughs) Don't ask me why I'm thinking of elephants. (laughs) Okay. It combines (laughs) modern elements and is more budget friendly. The flat walls are a bonus for people who are concerned about hanging pictures on round log walls. And this hybrid home design has been a real crowd pleaser when it comes to um, situations where one spouse likes the look of logs and the other doesn't or maybe just isn't as in love with it. This type of design is the perfect compromise because it combines the best of both worlds. So let's talk a little bit more about this particular design. It was wrapped up the beginning of this year and the focal point of this home is this humongous, gorgeous 23 foot tall entry. It has a huge arch truss supported by two pillars. Each pillar has four tall posts and it just, it. When I look at the plans, I imagine this grand feeling walking up to this home, like like it's like walking up to a mansion. It's just beautiful. And if you get a chance, uh, check out the blog at cariboucreek.com and I'll post a link below. I'll put pictures on the website um, so you can go check it out. I'll even put out the floor plan for you so you can go see what it looks like, at least a screenshot of it. Um, but let me try to describe it for you here on the podcast in case you don't have time for that. So, so I'm going to talk about when you, not the whole design, but just when you walk in the front door, when you walk in the front door, you're in this hundred square foot foyer and it's got these, uh, cathedral ceilings that go all the way up. As you keep walking, you pass under a catwalk and this catwalk is what links the two upstairs wings together. So somebody could walk from one side to the other. And then when you pass under this uh, catwalk, you walk into this enormous great room with these matching king trusses and it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's definitely got that jaw drop effect, okay? Now the total uh, square footage that this middle section I just described consumes roughly 700 square feet of the 6,000 square foot home, okay? And this part of the home is going to be constructed in dovetail cants, which are eight inches wide and cut out of 14 inch logs. The enormous timber trusses are crafted from 10 by 14 inch timbers and all the fiber used to construct the log portion of this home is kiln dried Douglas fir. As a matter of fact, the cants have already been cut and are in the kiln right now. The house is laid out with beautiful symmetry. It has um, matching two-story wings all resting on a basement foundation. The wings are constructed with traditional framing but have timber accents that carry through the ceiling and some other uh, accent pieces. So it ties together the aesthetics of the home. Site prep has already begun for this home and we expect to be restacking it later this fall. So once we are finished restacking the home, uh, Steve Gerard, who's their general contractor out of Montana, is going to finish it out. Steve has worked with Caribou Creek Homes before, and it was really a blessing for these homeowners to find him and let and that he was available to help him to help them with this project, especially right now with how busy everybody is. Needless to say, we are so excited to see this project come together. I think almost as much as these homeowners, if not more. Um, and something that we did 
that was a budget saver. So let me cut to the part that I know you guys are all waiting for. <laughs> okay, here's what was really awesome about this. These, these folks, like I said, they built this, this beautiful square, 6,000 square foot home. And they said, it's a little out of our budget. We wanna fix that, but we really don't wanna give up the, the, the size of the home was really important to them. And they didn't wanna give up certain design elements that um, also were very meaningful to, to what their quality of life would be like once they lived in the home. So what we did is we scaled back on the quantity of logs. So it originally was a full dovetail home and now it's a hybrid home. Then we also switched it from being full dovetail to dovetail cants. Now a log cant is a round log that's cut on two sides, making a beam that has two rounded sides and two flat sides. Whereas a full dovetail is four flat sides. By doing this, it cut the labor in half and then chinking is used to fill in these gaps. And when it's all done from the outside and from the inside, it looks like traditional dovetail because the chink lines cover the round edges of the logs. Plus it gives a slightly variated chink line, making it even more um, like of a rustic vibe. I hope I'm doing a good job explaining this, but again, if you wanna see it, check out the blog. I've got pictures of the cans you can see so you understand what I'm talking about. Once the timbers and the cans are out of the kiln, we're going to begin construction in our yard. And the, the other important thing to mention is that the um, extensions of the home are going to be cut as full square dovetail. So nobody will know that these were not square timbers to start with. Be sure to follow Caribou Creek on Facebook or Instagram too for progress updates. Um, and I'll be linking like pictures of this build as it goes along in, you know, on social. So I want to point out here that although Caribou Creek is designing the entire home, we are only crafting the log and timber portion. By making the changes we did, we scaled back the, the log portion of the project considerably because helping our client achieve their dream without having to compromise important design elements or overall square footage is the most important part of what we do. If you would like to discuss your project or idea with one of our law consultants, don't hesitate to call. Our number is 800-619-1156. This is our passion and it's our joy to help people realize their dream. So please don't hesitate to call. All right, that wraps up today's episode. Remember to hit subscribe. And next week, we're going to start diving into the design process, helping you walk through the questions of our design questionnaire uh, so that you can come and get some clarity on the design that you want. Have a great week.